Right. Well, greetings there. This is JBJ Blaze, and welcome to a new feature of Tuesday Indie Theater on this December 18th, 2018, which so happens to be three months after not only my birthday, 22, and the release into the full version 1.0 version of Distance from Refract Studios. Well, it's both, and we are about to survive the distance. And you can currently purchase Distance for 1884, which is 35% off, or your regional equivalent, at of course the same discount, or 33% off when you get the deluxe edition for 2730, or when it goes back on regular price, which will be in less than 39 hours from this live recording. And you can then purchase it for either 28.99 or 40.48 with the soundtrack and art book. Or once again, your regional equivalent. And now to this third feature of Tuesday Indie Theater, otherwise known as T-I-T or TIT. It is time to survive the distance. Let's begin. And here we go. So, before we begin, just checking the options. With my new computer, because this is the first feature I've ever played with my currently new rig, I am able to run at full screen and I believe, yep, it supports on or off, no windowed. Actually, it might, yeah, off would of course be windowed. Resolution, V-Sync, the Gamma, which I don't really ever touch, but that's actually really all that is, is changing brightness. There's a cinematic letterbox, which you can turn it off, or as I like to try out, the 21 by 9. And of course, all of these are turned on. Real-time reflections. I think I'll have that at least set to low. Anisotropic filtering is full, particles on, textures are set to the max as well as anti-aliasing, draw distance and shadow quality are medium, motion blur is turned off. Okay, so if that's... I'll give motion blur a try, I don't mind it so much with racing games, but certainly with other games like Just Cause. Car dance, certainly. I do like the damage. And detailed lighting. Okay. So, apply those changes. And it fortunately hasn't changed much. Master, car. Oh, I think I do like the subtitles. Oh, and you can even change the subtitle size, that's nice. General Christmas features I definitely will enjoy. Units, I want metric because I'm Canadian and I'm totally not a communist. Boombox mode. Oh my gosh, that is great. I love it. I'll leave that alone. Oh yeah. Look at that, why don't you? And controls are pretty typical, although I'm actually playing this with a Steam controller, and you can see my Steam controller in the Game of the Year Rocket and Reagan Awards from EPN. That's my profile, of course. Replays. That's that. And... Oh! Two real I have actually not tried that yet. I might give it a go. But not before I begin the campaign. And so, without further ado, here goes to surviving the distance. Now we'll be trying to keep this to an hour, so 
Yeah, that'll be fun. Algorithm iteration terminated. Also, per this being a first look, I've actually got two hours into this. Of course, that's actually the early access prior, just the night prior to its launch, I played through this story. Although I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be changed, and I did actually play a bit of this on launch day, but I lost that save. Don't know how or where it went, but it certainly won't hurt playing it, especially with my new, more beautiful settings. Yeah! And yes, I did just take a screenshot of that. Okay. I think this is the car front... Uh, what's it called? Windshield. Jeez, and I have my driver's license and I forgot that. Maybe minus the plural driver. And four hours remaining. Cataclysm. Sector 17. And here we go, nice and smooth. Kind of going just slightly under 60 frames per second, but still going for the most part nice and smoothly with my beautiful reindeer horns. And just a moment, I'm going to quickly move that. My streaming software so that the stream itself is more visible. And I'm actually surprised that I can stream this so smoothly. I really am quite surprised and I should be paying attention to my own screen. The array is our new home. By combining the resources of satellite sectors, the array functions as one metropolis. From energy Ooh. storage to food Yeah, I can't jump because that it's been corrupted. Okay. That's not jump, that's boost. Now, now that I know this streams without an issue, time to resume. And of course this streams live at mixer.com slash jvg or beam.pro with yeah, actually Oh crap, that's right. And yes, you do die multiple times. You don't keep your speed up to par. Nice. Now, I really just love that shaky cam that's going on right here. That looks so neat. So this is a Tron-esque city that you get to explore. There are Doom-esque levels later on. But I won't say too much till we actually get to them. If we do actually get to them, of course. Alert. Fatal oxygen levels present in this sector. Ooh, there's a 17. Oh, that's right, X is to fly. Now, considering the frame rate is degrading a bit here, I am going to tone down. I think I'll try that for now. Oh, and actually, I might. Nope. Okay, it's still decreased. Just going to modify the options further. Maybe high and fast on those ends. Yeah, it still looks pretty much just as good. Absorb 
those beaks. Not that you can actually absorb them or anything. They are fun to listen to, nonetheless. No, it does make me happy that this is actually streaming, because the last time I streamed this, it turned out that the... Uh, what's the word I want? It turned out that the stream didn't actually go through Mixer properly. Now I do want to check that other setting because if I can remember which one it was, there was a one that did, oh, I think it was, yeah, it was real-time reflections that supposedly took, oh my gosh, yep, it certainly did take a toll. Because now we are moving without a drop in frame. And yep, it's selected. Blow up your car. Yep, now we are running flawlessly. So, for my rig at least, which you can see my specs in my mixer description, file, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Now, before I go any further, I think I want to see if I can re-enable crap like anisotropic filtering and bring those settings back up. And before I do totally resume, I think I need to change one more setting that I do tend to forget to change. Okay, that's good, and okay, so that may have changed some things you might have just seen in the video, but oh well. Yep, so it was definitely the reflections that were causing the grand majority of the issues. Oh, the speed! Yes, yes, all the yes to the speed. Holy crap. Whoosh. And there goes the car. Boosting system. SCH-178-40903. I don't know what a SCH stands for. Sector 16. Bum, 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 beat up. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna stop that before there happens to be a copyright issue. And pillars to go through. See what I mean? The controls are nice and tight. But you get what I mean if you saw my pick for this game. Ah! No! No! Yeah, you really do need boosts quite often. <laughs> and the fun thing is you don't really always expect to need the boost and I was supposed to follow the directions if there's arrows so I can wall ride. Because I nearly forgot there is a wall riding. Oh, crap. We just downloaded jump and jump good and three two one good doesn't help or doesn't not help rather to sometimes count out the time or count down the time for each particular obstacle okay Next up, boost. So I think that's a matter of when you see a ramp, you best boost. Because it is highly likely 
You'll miss the jump. Period. <gasps> I was not supposed to do that. I should have known better. I'm sorry. Whoosh! Yeah. Between this and Forza? Oh. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. This is the doom -esque part I was referring to. It is so freaking cool. Oh yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's actually, I guess, where they came in with the horror stuff. Forget whether it was a community member. It might have been. That or the devs themselves that mentioned they were adding the horror thing segments, uh, horror sections to the tracks. Why are they there? They remind me quite a bit of Doom. Jumping system. And euphoria. Which I thought was just a feeling that people feel. They do that. And jump. And three, two, one. I didn't say zero, but I was a little too late for the zero anyway. Go around that. It's really tempting to just cause some damage to my car here. Just so that I can show off what it looks like. Boom! Beats in this game are totally better than my maturish beatboxing. Okay. Ooh, a bit of Rainbow Road style of road. Where you can actually see through it. Like that! Yep. No obstacles here. Those things. Not spikes, but something like that. Oh, whoa, 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 Barney. I know it did not instruct me to fly, but it's like it's instructing me to fly without instructing me to fly. What? 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 Okay. What am I missing here? Oh, you know what? Perhaps... That's what I'm supposed to do. Except for there wasn't a ramp there, so that's why I did not expect to have to boost. Now continue through here. And I'm gonna love this part. Woo! Snap. Didn't expect that to the particular portion where you require a very tight turn. Which I suppose one would say for such tight controls I should have been able to pull off. Oh, careful of those. Actually, perfect opportunity to miss it. Well, this I don't have to damage my car that way. Oh, here we go. No, I missed it again. I'm too good. Whoa, there. Oh, that did not work out as well as I'd 
plan. And once again, I dodge them like a boss. But then, and then, and then, boss. I think I've got that right. Quantum lock devices. Entanglement. Sector 14. I forget what the sector was that I managed to make it all the way to back before this went full release. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, I smell some of that doom and the horror coming up. Entering teleportation field. Oh boy. Organic matter must keep a safe distance from the teleporter at all times. You have successfully completed a short range teleportation. Teleportation is used for efficient travel. There we go. Being fast is fun. And prepare to dodge the odd obstacle is even more fun. I did not expect a portal there. Oh, that's right. Now I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe in the power of one. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics to the more than likely copyrighted Olympic song. I don't even know what those power ups are. If those are power ups, those things that look like the icons had wings or something. This is wall riding? Really? I thought that was just a regular track. Oh, snap. Dodge those. I mean, I like that I could just jump over it, but I'm thinking with the rest of those, I better just do the normal thing and dodge them. There we go. Make my way through that. Other thing. This one too. About. Whoa, what? I didn't know that going through that like that would actually bring harm to my car. But, I mean, this was one of the things I didn't expect. That horror like environment, however, was even less of something I expected to see. In the such games. Which I guess is why they consider it more like just a survival racing game. Which I can actually definitely agree with. And it couldn't be more obvious at this point to be now. I guess I just never saw it back when it was in the other early access. And here we go. Oh, I love this. Teleportation sequence to Earth initiated. Opening in six, five, zero, seven. Counting down, huh? Two. I don't even know how really to describe that. Where it just does that brief intermission that you're thinking, what the heck's going on? Oh, it's back to normal now. It's weird. Whoops. Okay. It didn't set me back too far. Oh, sweet, I still made it. <laughs> Not bad. It was a bit British, because I was on the left side. And we're going into the flying system. Sector 13 for automation. I 
I'm still less than a half hour in. Better calm down the power. Until now. The distance project is our path to life among the stars. We aim to push Wait, this whole thing is so that the world can be in the stars or some crap like that? Really? That's not something I expected. Don't think it was even mentioned. Ooh. I wish I had seen that all there. But I'm pretty dang sure I didn't. And whoop. Not there yet. There we go. This is also really nice where I usually expect it to be more difficult and I expect it to blow up there, but I didn't. Maybe I'm just well practiced being my age now. But usually those parts I could not get through as a kid. I'd probably have to get my brothers to take over and help me with it. Ooh, another Difficult section. There we go. Hurry. Calm those engines. There we go. Another rig. Whoosh. Does get more difficult, admittedly. Ooh. And here, especially, it's gonna be. Tricky! Ooh, holy crap. Oh my gosh. I actually made it through there. I was really happy by now. It's, I crap you not one bit. Did I mention the controls are really tight? Crap, am I gonna make it? I made it! So sweet! I'm really disappointed now that this did not receive a nomination. I mean, I nominated it in this Steam Awards, but it obviously did not receive the final nomination, which I do find disappointing. Because playing through this, it just reeks in my mind that this deserves more recognition. Because this is just so good looking. Sure, it kills me as soon as I was about to come off the bench. This game does not take kindly. Oh, we are at the finish. Ooh, I'm actually really relieved about that one. Road smoothing equipment. Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Abyss. I think this must be the level that I had difficulty on. This looks like it may be it. The part that I did have to call it a break on just because I could not get through it for the life of me. Or maybe not so much the life of me. Or maybe so. It doesn't look is behind us. Remember, learn, go beyond. The path ahead gives us purpose. I didn't even have to accelerate. And if you couldn't hear what I was whispering, it was, it won't let me boost. So sad. Whoa, and it's so dark now. I'm tempted to just crank up that brightness. Might kill the atmosphere, but I mean, at least I can see crap. 
Checking out Daisy for the first time. I don't know where I am when it's so dark. Does my vehicle not have headlights? Whoa! I missed it. I'm so. I deserve that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. There we go. This looks better. And especially more visible. Okay, saws, avoid. Because they will cut. So bad I can just cancel out of singing Steam notifications. But I may get an achievement, so I would certainly appreciate being able to see those. But I still don't know how to sort that out in the Steam. Ooh, no entry, which means yes, entry! Totally entry. Go right ahead, entry. Woo! Holy crap! I actually survived that. And I just left. Sweet. It's even forgiving sometimes. I mean, I knew that before. But, yeah, it's forgiving. Walrad. Oh, too dark for me to actually want to do a wall ride, though. Whoa! Ooh. Here comes another horror segment. And that voice is even more creepy and I'm actually shivering right now. Just a bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, obey her, devour her, trans, extinguish me, whoa. I'm actually, I was actually paying more attention to the subtitles at that point than where I'm actually going, which is certainly not safe for driving whatsoever. Oh my gosh. It feels like doom right now. And I... Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh. That was brilliant. So bloody brilliant. So I'm supposed to go back? Then why did it send me back? Did I not do that stage correctly? I was thinking I'll just go with the flow, but apparently that's not right either. Maybe it wanted me to take the right side. Probably not. Oh! Now I'm finished now. Wow. That was crazy. That was crazy. I repeat, not again, but anyway. Teleport augmentation, M Ember, Sector 09. <gasps> oh, this might be the part where I blind. And that's 
my favorite cop out. When in doubt, fly like a bird. I wanna fly away. I don't know where the track is, track is. Or where my car is so is so ah! got shattered into many pieces. I'm like a bird, I'm gonna fly away. I finally found out where the track is, track is. Now I'm back on where the track is, track is! Ouch! Nelly Cartado. Okay. Next up, I do not remember. Ooh! Yep, that's how much I mean, babe. So much I smash into the top of the next track. Which is why, when in doubt, fly like a bird. Okay, back to reset. I'm pressing back. That was twice or thrice that I just pressed it. But I will try to, to obey the direction of the course again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. What is this doing to me? Other than putting me on a track that I can see all the way through. Oh. Oh! It destroyed my wings! Whoa! Whoa! Crap, 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 crap! Ooh! That was better. Pink! Nope! Blade was leaving too. Whoa, see? That's the kind of damage it can do. Whoosh! That was close. Oh. Yeah. That's the part. I think this is the part where I had the trouble. I think boosting was required. Well, I almost had it. Whoa! Um, jump! Nope. My thumb was not far enough. There we go. Hot dog. This is the part that I always found certainly difficult. Whoa, hold on. Oh crap, that's right. And of course he got a restart. Did it say continuous thrusters? That's right, continue boosting while in the air. Yeah, that's where I had difficulty. So now that I finally found that part again, you know what? I'm going to try a motorcycle on this motorcycle mode. Yeah. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh. That is cool. Well, okay. That just makes it a little more difficult now, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I still don't know how to do that. I'll try it one more time. Motorcycle mode. I thought it was actually motorcycle, but no. It's just something like a motorcycle. Oh, I think I have to be on the underside of it. Is what that is. Okay. Here's to... Turning off the cheat. Here we go. Let's see if I can make my way to the under side. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, you know what? I want to see how this plays out. Okay. One more time, and if I don't get it, which I don't think I will, but here's trying the beast anyway. Okay. I will call it good there. And we can see how far it is I made it. First eight levels. So I'm 41% of the way through adventure. And then there are Lost Two Echoes and a Nexus, which just came out. Upload the package to the Nexus Core and Escape. Except for I can't actually access that quite yet. But there is the garage. So I am going to do blue flame. <gasps> oh. Yes, the fly. Okay. Next up, global stats. Achievements, yep, got all of those. Oh, and then the level six. Workshop. Update all. There we go. Arcade. Sprint. Yep, so ignition. I'm going to try. This intrigues me because of the color scheme. Wow, I love how wintry it is. Perfect for the season. Whoa, crap. Restart that. It's nice how this is basically just reskinned. And wow, this is more difficult than I expected. Ah! I can't stay on the bloody track. But I think I know why, and it's because it's so thin. Used to tracks this thin. Maybe I will try another one. Such as Chroma or 
more static fire soon though. I wanted to try this one. So like, you gotta wonder if Incline is... Implying there's an Incline. Implying to have an Incline. I love that music. How come they are moving so much faster than I am? That's right, and those lines in the track cool down the heat. This is also a lot of haptic vibrating my controller. So this music is really captivating. I could have just kept it to the Atmospheric sound that it was pulling off before, but these are alright too. just loving it. I'm not sure I felt this just immersed since Skyrim when I first played that during Christmas holidays, that game. Early 2013 and I have no clue what's going on here. That was so good. I'm actually really, really impressed with that. I loved it. And Chroma. I have to, yep, I have to deal with ghosts. Darn man. What is so orange? Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, snap. Okay. I'll restart it. I do want to see more of this course. I'm just really taken in by this. 
this. Not so much that part, but it was neat that the color changed. Now I do want to check if there's... Man, I actually... Vector Valley. I'm gonna check those out after to see if I can modify my vehicle. Just my nice car. Yeah, it looks like the only thing I can change about it. Ooh, this mid looks neat. Oh, I thought it was bringing some sort of transparency to it, but no. I like blue flame better because it has a nice texture to it. And speaking of which, get the hand off. Okay, anti aliasing is. As far as it can go, as well as the anisotropic filtering. I'm surprised I've said that thrice in this feature. Because I usually don't say the word too much. Okay, so. Hexa for Ripen. That. I like the name. For a second. For the for a second theory. Road division equip. Let's see if this really only lasts for the first seconds. Oh crap. Restart. Start this again. I think I need to be ready to fly. Yeah. Oh. I'll just try. It's a horrific. I don't know how it is that's supposed to work. But I'm sure I was missing something. But I love the vectors. Restart. I can jump in this. What? Hold up here. Let me do this again. It's horrific how I just can't make it through those trees. Well, what? Advanced driver? Hold up. Hold the freak up. And... Advanced driver, get a silver metal medal on a track. That came a bit late to show up. But okay. It's okay. Oh! Wow, that's a really tight space. One more time. Ah, oh, crap's sake. Oh, and I can't fly. Oh, that's why the wind is so bad. We now have to fly. I still can't do it. One more time. 
This is make or break. One, one more time. See, I got confused. Okay. I think I'll get out of that. So that's challenge. Stunned. Go through now in part, but Spooky Town seems like a Halloween thing. Quarantine capsule. Besides this. Kind of reminds me, oddly, of RuneScape. Why did I just clear all roll? No cigar. No cigar? Is it I wanted a cigar? Oh. Oh, that's right. This is stunt. God. The whole point is to pull out the seeds. Tubular. Tubular. I love it. Okay. I gave that a try. Because I'm running shorter on time. I want to check out Trackmography. Do I want JBJ Blaze? Yes. So I may actually extend this feature further. Man, if I was Deadpool, I'd throw this my food. Oh! Got cut off a little. And there you just saw the... Uh, get some of that back. After me, that's actually really cool. Now, there goes another seed. Tuesday in the future. Is it me or did... Okay, this isn't snowy at all. I like the start of it already. Yep, so far I do approve. Ooh, I like how that light is coming through. Although I'm a bit disappointed that it disappeared so... What?! That's all this was. Track my auger fryer. I just got that achievement. That was so short. Sure, I'd recommend it. Next. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna be really... Uh, generic. Really generic. 
I'll just collect a meal. But yeah, there you have it. 3841 climbing on Tuesday in the future. One of the best seeds in this game already. I have a feeling they intentionally programmed this to be the way it is. But I'm neither confirming or denying that to be the case. I leave it up to them to the to do the do tell. level EPN and then the last one I'm going to check is Minecraft just because Minecraft is the first game I ever saw that stuff in and I love that bit of light coming through well that smoke and whatnot Ooh, why do I feel like that's inspired somehow by probably not inspired by Blade Runner because I know Vic loves the movie but man this looks so flipping good and I'm very sure Vic would approve of it all these colors especially blue could use a little more blue though but maybe that's just what I saw in this particular session on the track. Okay. And finally, Minecraft. Thank you. Crap it. This music is perfect for a Minecraft scene. It just sounds so much like something that would actually be in Minecraft. I'm surprised it comes up with all these tracks from those seeds. Kind of impressive, like, what you find in Minecraft. Except for in a racetrack. I'm doing this or continuing this track just because I really love how the two set it up. And I'll actually call that good there because there is one more thing. Because I'm only really taste testing. Unless I decide otherwise, of course. Level editor. Test your level by pressing tilled, which is the squiggly. View hotkeys in the tools menu by hovering over the buttons and tweak level options by clicking on level settings. Holy crap, I don't understand this. I'm backing out. Quit to main menu. Thank you. There, you see how complicated that is now. Okay, okay. Split screen. Means I can play it with a friend. That looks great. Campaign only rounds. Top shop work mix. I'll do this one. Group system. Starting match. Okay. Whoa! I got wrecked. Two J's in the same track. What? The crap just happened. Maybe we're not supposed to go through the major thing. Get it. 
Perhaps building the track on top of that old druid sanctuary was a bad idea after all evacuation is complete, but the streamers demand a race and threaten to down what there is. Tuh. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, because it really doesn't get me anywhere. But I think in about a couple of minutes, I will be tuning out of surviving this distance. But until then... So, once again, lost two echoes. Oh, Nexus, rather, which actually just came out. Apparently last Thursday, so that'll be... If I can figure out my days right. Today's the 18th. Fourteen, thirteen is when that would be released of December. Last two echoes. Ah, December 13th. I think that may or may not be the same date, if not around the same date as the Forza Horizon 4 expansion. Fortin Island. Last two echoes we have here. And of course, Adventure. So to make this good for timing, I will be entering Echoes to end this session. Did I say Echoes? I meant Embers. And yeah, this is the course that's hard to see through. And just because I can... Options, Graphics, Gamma. Oh my gosh, you can see everything after all. But I love how it gives it that sort of found footage like horror movie aesthetic. It's a pretty dang cool touch there. Cool down. Yeah, so even with the brightness turned all the way up, it still looks really cool. Very cool, indeed. Okay. Much further can I get in this? I'll speed up a bit. If I quit hitting those pillars, this would be raced through all the way sooner. Well, and that looked really cool. Whoa, crap. Oh, jeez. Now, I just really want to try this. Oh, and did I even check the audio? Yes, I did. Okay. It's all good. Oh, no. This is way more difficult than I expected. I still get blown up. I mean, at least it still works pretty similarly. It's just you're spinning around a lot. So, options, cheats, turn off motorcycle mode. Good, it does just regenerate the whole car's body. I didn't even make it through that last wing there. Probably won't hurt to bring the speed up quite a bit for that portion. Yep, this is 
that really difficult part. Going to see with three attempts if I can make it this time. Shoot. I think I knew what I needed to do there though. So that's a much better landing than before. Ah, I keep forgetting that I can't jump. I need to keep it on the booster. And if I can do that, I think I'll be able to get this next section right and hallelujah if so. One more time. <laughs> oh, I tried so hard. And just like, or not like Canada's worst drivers, or like them, I forgot to do this step again. Okay. Here we go. Lay off the boost. Around, around there. Oh, so close. I'll just try this once more because I nearly got the maneuver right. I think I might have this. But I don't want to jinx it either. One more time? Maybe? <laughs> okay. Okay. I think it's time I give that up. I might have to watch or not someone else's session, but for now, I do thank you for watching. Let's keep surviving the distance. So, see those gifts in the background? Reminds me of Minhee Racing Adventure on Android, which my cousin introduced to me. Someone who introduced me to Minecraft by gifting me the key years and years ago. But anyway, I mean, not too long ago. In fact, just a bit before the beta ended. No, the alpha. Anyway, that's getting into something else, but still sweet. I do thank you for watching. Let's keep the distance. And thank you Refract Studios for releasing this on my birthday once again. And again, you can buy this on Steam. I'm pretty sure there are other places available. Or maybe not. Actually, I do, if I recall correctly, they were planning on... Okay, so there is the Humble Store, which is at 3014. So 10% or no, that's because of the Humble Monthly. So 33.49 Canadian for your regional equivalent. And PS4 is coming soon when it's ready. So no date available there yet. Oh, and of course the discount is because they are on version 1.1. But without further ado, I do recommend this. I think it's, I mean, maybe just check out my brief sort of review on the pick on the reviews on the run Rocket and Raygun Awards for Game of the Year for this year, 2018. And I just love the scenery 
whether it's the Ton or Doom esque sections or even stuff like this. All the Christmassy looking stuff. And then there is the music, which really does help me move. And it's exciting. And the speed is just. Whoosh. I don't want to say unbelievable, but it floors me and blows my mind. Kind of. Oh, and this is the advent calendar, apparently. Which is available right up here. Apparently. Oh, it's even available in the Steam Workshop. So there you go. Yep, I think that's the best review you could probably go with. Pretty accurate. But perhaps even I should start the first one. But without further ado, this has been the third feature. Hopefully on the third, maybe fourth of the Tuesday Indie Theater, otherwise known as TIT or TIT. And this has been JBJ Blaze, and I do thank you very much for watching. Have a great night, a great Tuesday, maybe even if it's cheap night at the movie theater. And this is actually the first session I've ever recorded in 60 frames per second. And this will be up and available soon on my YouTube channel. Slash JBJ Blaze and TFA. And anyway, have a great night because that's all, folks. And I'm tuning out for now. Bye, buzz.